the wind is blowing, so the sheep didn't hear me. And that yo know, coming out from under the tree, right there, spotted me and called out to all the others, she's here, she's here. Now look, they're coming from everywhere. They're coming from all over. But there was the lookout, spotted me. Yeah. How are you? So, go along and feel the condition they're in. This is an older ewe, so she'd be in less good condition. That's a younger yo. This is an older yo. This yo has a really good condition on it. This has excellent condition on it. This is an older yo, but got good condition. Good condition. I'm basically feeling the two hip bones, one hip bone there, one hip bone there, and the spine there, and feeling how much coverage they have, like if the spine's sticking up, or if the hips are sticking up, or if they're not. So they all seem to be in relatively good condition, which is good. Isn't that right, Brindle? I came to check on the water, as one does, and was followed by all the sheep. This water tank is fine. This is here just for um, when the aquifer isn't full. Here you can see the aquifer is full. You can see with all the duckweed and everything. And a lot of the times the sheep prefer to drink out of this water because it's probably higher in mineral content than drinking out of that water tank. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Look at you all. Looking for attention. I'm surrounded by three ladies. Isn't that right? You good girls. Now, they've backed me into a corner. This is a um, slip, so it gets deeper and deeper. So if an animal gets stuck in there, they can find their, this is a shallow channel and they can find their way up out of here. But hopefully, look at you. Hopefully they won't um, fall in. I actually am gonna have to trim back all these brambles, blackberries, I will. You can see the blackberry crop wasn't that great this year because of the drought. You can see a lot of blackberries dried on the vine because they didn't get enough water. Look at that, that's a blackberry. And the birds would have had a lovely feed. So I've got to cut this back because I kind of feel brambles are a kind of carnivorous plant because they can catch a sheep and they'll hold the sheep till it dies unless you rescue it. And having them near the tank means that if a sheep gets stuck in there, they can get caught in the brambles and then they can drown. And we don't want that, do we? So I'm always checking on the extra jobs I'm gonna have to do. And one of them is gonna trim that back, 
basically there's no more food for wildlife in there because the blackberries didn't mature enough to be food. If, if the blackberries had matured enough, they would have all been stripped uh, by the birds. But obviously the drought kept them from maturing to a bird standard of food. And you can see the overflow of the water. Hey ladies. How are you? Beautiful ladies. Look at the light of the tree, the autumn light. All curious as to what I'm doing here. Gorgeous sheep I have, I must say. <laughs>